Have you ever pondered about how poetry can be a powerful tool to express the conflicts and struggles within societies and individuals? Poetry, in its essence, is a medium that allows us to delve into deep and complex themes, giving us the opportunity to reflect on the world around us. Today we'll be focusing on two compelling pieces from the OCR's conflict selection. The first poem is Colonization in Reverse, by Jamaican poet Louise Bennett, who uses humour and irony to address the post-colonial migration of Jamaicans to Britain. The second poem, Still a Mystery, will be revealed soon enough. This hand-picked poem from the OCR's conflict selection will provide a contrasting perspective on conflict, allowing us to explore this theme through different lenses. Both poets, in their unique ways, shed light on the intricacies of their societies and the conflicts that pervade them. Now, let's dive into the depths of these two fascinating poems and explore how they address the theme of conflict. Firstly, we delve into Colonization in Reverse by Louise Bennett. This intriguing piece offers a unique perspective on the migration of Jamaicans to Britain, using humour and satire to highlight the ensuing culture shock. Bennett cleverly paints a picture of a reversed colonisation process, where Jamaican immigrants, instead of being colonised, are subtly influencing and reshaping the British culture. The poem's style is engaging, employing a conversational tone that mirrors the everyday language and dialect of the Jamaican people. This aids in making the reader feel more connected to the experiences of the immigrants. The central theme of conflict is addressed through the evident clash of cultures and the struggle of immigrants to fit in. Bennett presents this struggle comically, yet beneath the humour, we sense the harsh realities of displacement and the challenges of creating a new identity in a foreign land. As seen, Bennett masterfully utilises humour and satire to highlight the conflicts arising from cultural clashes and migration. Next, we explore another powerful piece from the OCR's conflict selection. Let's delve into Envy by Mary Lamb. This poem, set in an intimate personal space, explores the internal conflict of jealousy. Lamb uses a conversational style, making the reader feel as though they're in the midst of a heart-to-heart -heart discussion about the destructive power of envy. The poem is replete with vivid imagery, painting a picture of envy as a wretched fiend that gnaws away at one's contentment. This personification intensifies the emotional turmoil experienced by the individual consumed by envy. Lamb's exploration of conflict is psychological rather than societal, a stark contrast to Louise Bennett's colonization in reverse. Here the battlefield is the mind and the enemy, our own destructive emotions. The conflict is not with external forces, but with the darker aspects of human nature. This poem, like Bennett's, uses its unique style and theme to shed light on the complexities and struggles inherent in conflict. Having explored these two poems individually, how do they compare in their depiction of conflict? Let's delve into it. While colonization in reverse employs humor to dissect the conflict of cultural identity and displacement, our second poem may take a more solemn tone to represent conflict. This stark contrast in their approaches not only diversifies their narrative styles, but also broadens our understanding of the varied expressions of conflict. Moreover, the types of conflict portrayed are also starkly different. One might focus on an external societal conflict, while the other delves into an internal, personal struggle. This juxtaposition prompts us to view conflict from a broader perspective. Additionally, the way these poems elicit reader responses is noteworthy. One may evoke laughter and amusement, while the other triggers introspection and empathy. This variance in evoked emotions underscores the power of poetry to resonate with readers on multiple levels. Thus, through their unique approaches, both poems offer profound insights into the diverse manifestations of conflict. Poetry, indeed, serves as a mirror, reflecting the conflicts within us and our societies.